Hello, this is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. And if you're an OG, welcome back. It is another recording day, guys, and we have defeated the mages. Or defeated the mages. We have cleared out the mage tower and of um, well, blood demons, blood magic demons, what have you. And now we're back here in camp, and um. As soon as I arrived in camp, uh, Stan started speaking to me, so that's why we're standing here. So I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to not record this conversation. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead to this episode and kind of talk to our companions because we definitely want to do that every time we finish a major quest line. So that is what we're going to do today, and possibly uh, go ahead and start. Um, trying to convince another faction to help us all right or recruit another faction because well anyways so let's uh let's get started so stan asked me um the blight how will you end it um well uh we have to fight the archdemon is that all it is surrounded by an ocean of dark spawn how will you reach it if you reach it how will you slay it you say you are a gray warden I have heard stories of this order. Stin is very, like, specific. Um, he is, like, he's all about um, doing the job, getting the job done. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. He's very Kunari, uh, I guess. So, let's see. Um, what have you heard? Great strategists and peerless warriors. That is what we hear of the wardens. So far, I am not impressed. Obviously, he's not impressed with us. Well, um, I can't, I'm not going to make any excuses because Sten doesn't hear that. Um, I'm not here to impress you. Evidently not. It remains only to see what you are here for. And he approved of that answer. So, yeah, I'm just letting, you know, Sten has this attitude of, um, you know, no excuses. Why isn't this done? Why aren't we doing this? Um, and I kind of have to take that same attitude with him. Like, dude, I'm not here to impress you. I have a job to do, to do um, and what have you. I guess that's the best way I can explain it. Okay, so these are supply caches. These will appear every time we, or another one will appear every time we defeat or help a faction. Why do I keep saying defeat? So, these are the mages. I can't remember what they require. Uh, they want runes. Well, I have a few runes, but I don't know what I want to do with them yet. So, we're going to talk to some folks first. Um, I guess we'll go in order. We talk to Sten. Let's talk to Alistair. What do you need? Uh, do you want to talk about Duncan? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. I don't know. I just... He was like a father to you, I understand. I... I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it, not when so much is riding on us, not with the blight and... and everything. I'm sorry. Um, there's no need to apologize. I'd like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. He had you. I suppose he did. It probably sounds stupid, but part of me wishes I was with him. In the battle. I feel like I abandoned him. No, I understand completely. Um. Yeah. Of course. I'd be dead then, wouldn't I? not like that would make him happier. I think he came from High Ever, or so he said. Maybe I'll go up there sometime, see about putting up something in his honor. I don't know. Have you had someone close to you die? Not that I mean to pry, I'm just... Um, yeah, my entire family was murdered just recently. Oh, oh, of course. How stupid of me to forget. Here I am going on and on about Duncan, and you... I am so sorry. Thank you. Really, I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little. 
Um, you know, maybe I'll go to Hyover with you when you go. I'd like that. So would he, I think. Okay, so Alistair approves, plus six. Uh, I'm not going to, like, stay too long with the, um, conversation, but let's talk to Wynn. She's new. Uh, we haven't talked to her yet, so. Oh, it's been a long day. Rest. Rest would be welcome. Um, are you all right? Yes, yes, of course. I am just a little weary. As you may have noticed, I'm no spring chicken. Well, no, you're not. Um, well, you're very sprightly for your age, though. Thank you. You're very kind to say so. Of course. But in all honesty, I do not know how many years I have left in me. I have lived for such a long time. But there is always something else to do. And I have to keep going in order to do it. I think I will be glad when I am done. Um... Uh, let's see. I'm sure you'll be kicking around for years yet. Oh, I don't know. I really don't. All right. So she gave me plus one approval. I don't know. That conversation didn't go very well. Of course, I don't know if it could go any better than that. Um, let's talk to Liliana. Yes. Um, I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. Okay. Well, um, what was it like in the Chantry Cloister? Quiet. It was a life suited for contemplation. In the cloister, away from the fuss and the flurry of the cities, I found peace. And in that stillness, I could hear the maker. But it was not perfect. Some of my chantry fellows were condescending. That is the nature of religious folk, I suppose. Condescending? How so? When I talked about my beliefs, that the maker reveals himself in the beauty of his world, they treated me with disdain. They want to believe that he's gone, so that when he turns his gaze on them, it means they are special, chosen. He cannot possibly have love for all, the sick and the weary, the beggars and the fools. Um, what did you say to them? What can I say to them? What they believe is what the Chantry says, and the Chantry is infallible, yes? Maybe I am wrong. But it is the Maker's place to decide if I am worthy, not men, not the Chantry. But there is work to be done, and I have talked enough for now. Okay, so I didn't get any approval there. Let's chat with Morgan. What do you wish of me? Um, I'd like to discuss something personal. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Oh, I don't want to say that. Um... Oh, I did have something to give to her, didn't I? I, I think I do. Uh, I thought I did. Oh, here it is. The Black Grimoire. So we're going to give her this. What? You found Flemeth's Grimoire? Ever since we discovered the condition of the Mage's Tower, I had wondered Don't if it might it. be recoverable. But I had yet to speak of it to you. How fortunate that you found it on your own. You have my thanks. I will begin study of the tome immediately. Just a moment. Okay, we're back. I just, just wanted to let the garage door close. Open and close. Yeah. All right. So you're welcome. I do not intend to squander this opportunity to learn more than Flemeth wished me to know. This should be interesting. Probably should have asked more, but um, I got a little sidetracked. All right, so I just now noticed she had poultices sitting here. So we got a plus 12 for that. Uh, that's a gift. Um, and actually, I wanted to start giving some gifts away because my inventory is pretty high or low or whatever. I don't have a lot of room. Um, so I wanted to try to get rid of some of these um gifts to make some room so this already kind of tells us what i have this add-on that tells me who gets what but i kind of know who gets what let's see alistair likes statuettes I could get used so to this, i'm gonna know. give him that um the 
symbol of Andraste, I believe, is for Liliana. I. Yep. That's a wonderful thought. I don't know what to say. The water stain portrait belongs to Sten. I am impressed. My thanks. Anything that has to do with the chantry, I do believe, belongs to Liliana. I. Yep. That's a wonderful thought. I and then. I don't know what to say. Me either. And I believe the beef bone obviously goes to Augsters, but uh, he's already maxed out because he loves us. He loves us. Um, white runestone. I believe that's for Alistair. I could get used to this, yep. you know. Okay, so these are, okay, these are all, they say Morgan. This is Morgan. But I guess these you can give to anybody. So I'm just going to give this necklace to Morgan. I am grateful. This probably Tastes Liliana. Thoughtful indeed. Oh, this is for Morgan. I mean Morgan Wynn. Um so the Rose of Orleans. gift. Thank you ever so much. Um no problem. Okay, so that is all the room that I can really make cuz I think the rest of them are for others now. I am going to give this one to the skin to Augie and I need to figure out who to give these um, necklaces to dexterity no um, fire damage I mean eh. okay all right let me look at these runes really quickly I mean they're novice runes I mean a rune is a rune I mean, it may give us a little bit more room, but um, we can sell this other skin. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, okay, so that little thing that popped up, basically when certain when your allies uh, reach certain approval levels, they get an additional ability. Um, so yeah, Alistair just got one. Folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. Why, thank you. Um, I actually want to see your wares. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Sure. All right, so we're going to get rid of this here. We're going to keep that. No, I mean, I don't know. Uh, we're definitely going to get rid of that. Um, I don't know. Let's get rid of these. Um, I, I have a feeling I'm going to regret that, but okay. So that's all we want to get rid of. I think I'm pretty sure I'm going to find better robes, better robes elsewhere, but does he have any more? Yeah, I'm going to grab these. And I'm going to grab his lesser. Um, whatever that thing is. Ooh. And oh, I only have seven gold. Yikes. I, I want this, but I can't afford it. Okay. So let's head out. Um, and yeah, let's continue on. Where are we going? We're going to take... We took Morgan the last time. We definitely need a mage, so we're going to take Wynn. Um, we are going to take... Um, Liliana. Indeed. And we're going to take Alistair for yes. now. Okay. We will try to switch it up. Okay, so we are here at the tower. Um, let's go go to okay Lothering has been destroyed um let's go ah where do I want to go I don't know let's go to the let's go to Lothering or Red Cliff Probably going to hit. Yep, I knew it. Dang it. I was hoping we'd go straight through, but I know better. 
All right, I'll be quiet. I bring word, sire. There are demands from the Banorn that you step down from the Regency. They are said to be gathering their forces, as are your allies. It appears it will be civil war after all, despite the Darkspawn. Pity. I also have an interesting report. There seem to be Grey Wardens who survived Ostagar. How, I don't know. But they will act against you. I have arranged for a... a solution. With your leave. The Antivan Crows send their regards. An assassin? Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> <laughs> and the most expensive. Just get it done. Well, we all knew that was, uh, all right. So she leveled up. She's a rogue. So we're going to have her Dex. She needs strength for bows. I, yeah. Um, Dex strength and cunning. Her constitution is kind of low. Um, I don't normally use a stealing, but. Let's just go with combat training. She's a bard, so we're going to use her abilities. I don't think she has much in... Okay, so she's all... She has some bows. Let's give her uh, her ability as a bard. So this is distraction. The bard's performance replete with dizzying flourishes. It is designed to distract and confuse. The target forgets who it was fighting, becomes disoriented until it passes their mental resistance check. So let's grab, <clears throat> let's grab that. Frog in my throat. Um, this looks ominous. So we're going to summon our wolf and save and head in. What is this? Rough travels out here, eh? We even saw Dark Spawn on the way in. Oh, did ya? Uh, Dark Spawn, you don't say. Right, Dark Spawn. We killed a whole band of them on the way up from Lothering. We're delivering a message to the Chantry in Denerim. You? Uh, what's this message about? We saw a blood mage down near the Brazilian forest. We're off to tell the Chantry about him. I'm here to stop you. <laughs> I don't know. I thought you said... Wait. You're serious? I am. I guess. I... Yeah. Why don't you let us deliver that letter? Uh, I suppose that's all right. As long as it gets there. Stay safe. Wuss. Let's, um... Collect this death root. And this elf root. Dag! Nab it! You know what? I'm just gonna let it fly. Whatever. How many times can the garage door go up and down? How many times? Can I, get I ask ladder, you. So you can get off my back. Uh, yes. All right. So we're off to see the wizard. I don't know why I said that. <clears throat> this is Red Cliff. Look, can we talk for a moment? Sure. I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. All right. Uh, well, what's on your mind? Well, uh, let's see. How do I tell you this? We're almost at Redcliffe. Did I say how I know Arl Eamon exactly? No. I, well, I think you said he raised you? I'm a bastard. My mother was a serving girl at Redcliffe Castle, and she died when I was born. Arl Eamon took me in and raised me before I was sent to the Chantry. The reason he did that was because... Well, because my father was King Marrick, which made Kaelin my half-brother, I suppose. 
what you don't think you might have told me before no um so you're a bastard not just t yeah i like that one ha, yes i guess it does at that i should use that line more often I, I would have told you but it never really meant anything to me i was inconvenient a possible threat to kaylin's rule and so they kept me secret i'd never talked about it to anyone Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. Well, let's see. Um, I think I can understand. But does Lil Gain know? Does Lil Gain know? Why wouldn't he? He was King Marek's best friend. I don't know if that means anything, though. I certainly never considered the idea that it might ever be important. Al Eamon eventually married a young woman from Orlay, despite all the problems it caused with the king so soon after the war. He loved her a great deal. Anyway, the new Arlesa resented the rumors which pegged me as the Arl's bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Arl didn't care, but she did. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age 10. Just as well. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. Did she know the truth about you? Um... She may have, but I think it's more likely that she feared the rumors might be true. I can't blame her for that. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall. And it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Isle came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually, he just stopped coming. Um, you were young. Yeah. And raised by dogs. Or I may as well have been the way I acted. But maybe all young bastards act like that. I don't know. All I know is that the Isle is a good man and well-loved by the people. He also was King Kalen's uncle, so he has a personal motivation to see Loghain pay for what he did. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. As you command, my prince. Oh, lovely. I'm going to regret this. Somehow I just know it. <laughs> All right. So, we just found out that Alistair is a prince, and all right, all right. King Kaelin's half-brother, King Maverick's son. Ma Maverick. <laughs> King Merrick's son. I thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? Yeah, I guess. Uh, what do you mean? Is there a problem? So you, you don't know? No. Has nobody out there heard? Of what? What are you talking about? Heard what? We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on. What is this evil that's attacking you? I, I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother. He's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. Sure. Wakanda forever? It's Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They're obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainersphere, brother to the Arl. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're it alive. 
This is wonderful news. Still alive, yes. Though not for long if Tern Loghain has anything to say about it. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. Uh, you don't believe Loghain's what, lies. he pulled his men in order to save them? That Caelan risked everything in the name of glory? <laughs> Hardly. Loghain calls the Grey Wardens traitors, murderers of the king. I don't believe it. It is an act of a desperate man. So, you are a Grey Warden as well? Is it possible we've met? You seem very familiar. He was at, um, that, if you guys remember from the earlier episodes, he was at the, I don't know what that would have been, the gathering and Logan was announcing that he was going to, um, basically become like the, the steward. And, uh, he was one of the people that was completely against him and warned his daughter um, you may have known my father, Tyrion Kuslin. Ah, yes, that's it, exactly. A pleasure to meet you, indeed, though I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, <clears throat> and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. Um, what evil things are you talking about? Some call them the walking dead, decomposing corpses, returning to life with a hunger for human flesh. They hit again the next night. Each night they come with greater numbers. With Caelan dead and Loghain starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. I have a feeling tonight's assault will be the worst yet. Alistair, I hate to ask, but I desperately need the help of you and your friends. It isn't just up to me. Though the Grey Wardens don't stand much chance against Loghain without Arl Eamon. Of course we'll help. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the Chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. All right. Um, I'm on my way. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. Thank you. All right. Um, I think we're going to I'm loot scared, mother. When are the bad men coming? a little bit. Soon, darling. Don't worry. Everything will be all right. But I want to go Can home. Can we talk to her? Where's father? Oh. Why can't we go home? I already told you. Father is outside defending the village from the bad men. We must stay here and be brave. Can you do that? I... I guess so. Can we touch her? What will we do? Night approaches mm. and our men are outside ready to die for us. Yeah. Um... Let us pray. Blessed art thou who is this in the name of the sight. There... Hmm? Too many, too many voices. All right. Uh, there's Lady Oni Arrhenia. Good day. Oh, okay. Um, Jetta? You're a Grey Warden, right? Were you in Ostagar? In the Kokari Wilds? My oh, husband yeah. and son went there to bring the chant of light to the chastened. But I haven't heard from them since. Yeah. Are you Jetta? I am. You've heard of me? Mm. Yeah, your husband. Just a hunch. Take care. <laughs> your husband and son are both dead. I, I thought that might be the case. Thank you for telling me. Certainly. Make his blessings upon you. Oops, sorry, hit the mic. Um so this old man. I'm so scared. He played one. Think. What are we going to I'd do? I live to see the Arl and King both dead, and my own village ready to fall. Okay, we're gonna talk to Caitlin. Sorry. Am I bothering you? No. I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Uh, are you alright? Why are you crying? Those, those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time. Everywhere. How terrible. You poor thing. I wish there was something we could do to help. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. 
Um, let's see. Don't worry, I'll look for him. You will. Thank you so much. Please find him. All right, so we've got a couple things we need to do out in town, it looks like, but we are going to take a quick break, and uh, before we do that, we'll be right back. <laughs> 